Hi, I'll Lee Varis here with another Phototech Tuesday. Each week I'll be bringing you another video exploring photo techniques, equipment, software, creativity, and more. Today I'm going to look at the brand new feature in Lightroom called Point Color. This is part of a major update that just dropped last week, and among the new features is this powerful new tool for selecting and adjusting color. Okay, let's dive in and take a closer look. Okay, so uh, here we are. This is an image of our good uh, photographer friend, Kristen. And I uh, definitely want to check out her Instagram. I'll put that handle up here on the screen. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to explore the new point color, which now has, has moved into this new uh, panel. They renamed actually the HSL panel. They renamed it Color Mixer. And we now have a point color or the original HSL uh, panel uh, is now called Mixer here. So you can see the original HSL. So normally uh, in the past, what we did when we wanted to shift a particular color, uh, we could select the color using the little uh, target adjustment tool here. And for instance, here, I'm feeling like I, I want to shift the sort of reddish coral color of the glasses here on the top of her head. I want to shift that more into the magenta range to match her blouse. So if I, if I click on this with the target adjustment tool, I can drag it to make it more magenta, but then it definitely takes everything else with it. All the reddish colors, as you can see here, these two sliders move. Um, and I have really no control over exactly the right, the specific hue that I wanted to adjust. It's already sort of hard wired into these sliders. Uh, and I can see here that it's mostly red, but there's a little bit of orange in it. And I'm trying to shift it towards that magenta color, but it's, it's making her skin way too red. Okay, so what do you do? Well, in the past, we, we used to uh, mask it, and we can certainly mask it. But now there's an easier way using this point color. And uh, let me zoom in here just so we can kind of see better. Um, so my goal, again, to shift this sort of orangey coral color into a magenta hue. Okay, so with point color, we have this eyedropper tool, and I can do the same thing. We can click on the color that we want to shift. And now we're presented with a new interface here, and the color that we selected appears inside this big color field and also this little patch here, this little swatch patch. And we can see the range of, of colors that we can shift this color to. We can just drag it inside this field to put it towards any of these other colors. Um, and we can constrain the range that uh, is being affected using a whole new set of sliders and tools here. So first step here, and one of the most exciting things in this new tool, is this Visualize Range checkbox. So if I check that, it desaturates everything that's not selected. Now you can kind of see um, that clearly the glasses are retaining their full color, but her hair has gone even grayer and everything's sort of grayed out a little bit, but there's still some of her skin is, is, is going to be selected. Uh, and especially in the shadow areas, we want to take that out of the selection. So one thing we can do here is to move this range slider to zero which will take it off of every color that's outside of this sort of narrow range. You can kind of see here as I'm moving it, you can see the swatch area in that color field is getting narrower, and that helps you to see what colors are going to be shifted. So, so far so good, and it's pretty good. Most of the image now has become desaturated and gray, except, of course, for our initial selected color, those glasses. And her lips are close enough to the glasses that we don't mind shifting those. But I can still see a little bit of color in the shadows, and I definitely don't want any of the shadows on her face to get redder, uh, or I should say more magenta. So 
There's an additional range of controls here. This little reveal triangle over here, if you click on that, you'll get a whole other set of uh, kind of slider controls to constrict the range. And we can, we can change what is selected by hue, saturation, or luminance using these three bars here. Now you'll notice that there's this little box here inside that bar, and it's centered around the exact color that we selected initially. So what I want to do is take off as much of this uh, magenta uh, color in, from the selection. I want to put it outside of this box. A couple things we can do is simply move the box over, right, to get it kind of, as long as that little dot stays inside the box, it's still targeted. But I've moved more magenta colors off of the selection. And I can click on the right side of this box and kind of move it in to constrain the colors further, right? So just looking to make sure that that stays fully selected. Her lips are pretty much selected, but there's still a few little colorful areas in the shadows here. Um, I am suspecting that those are less saturated than the glasses. So we can move the saturation box. I'm going to make that, that box smaller. You can see here I'm constraining it further. And the, the ramp off, or what they call the uh, the the fall off range here um, is displayed here in this area and this slider I can pull off the selection entirely off of less saturated reds until we get it pretty much everything now is is desaturated to gray except the colors that we want to shift now I don't mind if the red lipstick shifts towards magenta uh, but I'm primarily interested in those glasses. And I can take the hue shift slider and just shift it towards magenta. And now I want to see how that plays against the original color of the blouse. So I'm going to uncheck visualize range. And that brings the color back. And I can see, yes, now that's, that's pretty close. Uh, everything's looking pretty good. Let's go and toggle the eye off for our uh, pre-visualization here. So if I click and hold on that, we can get the original color back. And now if you look closely, you can see that only the glasses and a little bit of the lips is being shifted back into magenta. And that was really, really easy. I didn't have to make a mask. I just targeted that specific color and using this, these new tools, I can successfully shift that where I want it to be. Okay. Well, that's it for now. I hope this tutorial has given you some ideas about how you can use point color in your own work. There are other new features in the latest Lightroom, but point color is definitely the most interesting. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss another Phototech Tuesday, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.